so yeah, I'm not. I'm Hello, not everybody. Make... Welcome to stream. You can continue. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I it. I'll save it for later. I caught a Flareon. Nice. Cool. Is Sandcorn still here? Uh, he has deafened and muted. Okay, so he's still focusing on the game. Alright. Are we actually going to play nice, Twitch? Let's see. Are we playing nice? It's Twitch. It never plays nice. Oh boy, yeah, that feels like it. Okay. Yeah, we're playing nice today. Yay! Of course, I'm not really Ooh. showing anything but a static image right now. Oh. Along with the fan art corner. Which, we need We need more fan art. <laughs> the fan art is great! I want more of... I, I don't want to have to draw it. <laughs> Let me quickly put my switch back on to the dock. There you go. Not a lot of power was used. Yay! Where's, the, oh, where's the fan art? I want to see the fan art. The fan art is on the stream in the fan art corner. I've also put it in art. Heck, I could put some of the uh, thumbnails that I make in the fan art. Because they are. They're hilarious. I made them myself. Yeah. Hey! Bye! Bye! Anyway, we are recording as well. Uh, I will be uploading both yesterday's and today's stream. <laughs> yesterday's yeah. stream, I start. Uh, I played uh, my first couple of rounds of Crucible. In Destiny 2, which was fun. Uh, we had a load of fun, and I will only play with other people because if I don't, I get sweaty. And I'm not going to do that. Well, so, so uh, how has everyone been today? I've been good. How about you? Or, or actually this week. week. Yeah, I've been putting in for jobs and I've uh, gotten a lot of no thank yous. So. No thank you. No. Speaking of smelly, Zayden, get in the game. I will hold up. I need to just get my food over at my dad's. It's steak, and I need to quickly get this over. The gum burns off of me. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, me my week. Week has been going pretty decently. And yesterday, I finally beat Skeletron on expert mode. Nice! In Terraria, if you're wondering, chat. Uh, Narv says, I poked in to say hi, but I know I'm coughing at, at Eric Glove. <laughs> yep, it's still there! Yeah, I plan Come to fight. On. I plan and to fight the two remaining bosses before the Wall of Flesh. Those being the Deer Clops and the Brain of Cthulhu. Nice and I see. My steak is gonna be cold. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, love boss. I need to get to my camp before I goddamn leave the game. My Soltron just called me a piece of scrap. You are. What? What? You... Leaves now. Narv. <laughs> Narv, you say that I get I get to go bunk you, but this time not with the cardboard. You get the newspaper of shame. 
It's good to see an Arv. He's threatening to say something misogynistic in my chat. Well, I also this is a mama. get down. Well, uh, you joke, yeah. I was like, well, that'd be h fucking hilarious. I cannot allow you to go further. Sadly, that is the rules. Da rules. Anyway, so we're just waiting. I think I'm not actually going and grabbing one of my Dr. Peppers. After this stream, I'm going to pass out because last night I did not sleep well. So yay, sleep. What's that? I know what's happened. I've messed up. Sleep? I've never heard of that. Taco Bell's Baja Blast suck now. Tastes way too much like Gatorade, in my opinion. I have never eaten I've never eaten a Taco Bell, so I would never know. Tell me Eric would have watched that clip I seriously sent you on half I took a peek at the stream and just realized how soft I sound. Mmm. That's probably on my end. I apologize. Let me just, uh, you. Actually, maybe it's a, it's better to keep it quiet just in case I scram. Please do not scram. No scram, please. I like ears. I like having them. I like using them. They're nice. I cannot make promises. No scram. <laughs> Ugh. How's yeah. your stay? What? Mr. German? <sighs> right now I'm in a fucking bad mood. Oh, why, you why? okay? My dad just questions the ability of me actually um, studying Latin. I just had to go out there and explain to him the goddamn in process of how oxygen and travels through the body and where it goes from to prove my point I'm just congratulations you're smart I am but fucking hell having to prove that shit it is just annoying I'm not even be out today now because fuck it I can't be asked I understood like why did you have to prove it? I thought, well, we all know that oxygen, uh, that, that ox oxygen travels through the body. No, I had to prove that at my, I studied. Why? I'm sorry. Ah, because my dad and just uh, fucking in question the validity of it. I'm not just gaming all day. Well, congratulations, you, you yeah. told him and you showed him. You did good. Well, I'm just not pissed. Great, that just... That was my fucking mood. Oh, yeah. Ah, I fucking hit my drift with my... Uh, fuck, god fucking Ow. damn it. That must hurt like a bitch. Nah. What's going on? So what is going on? Tell me, what happened last time? Um... We went in through Unaisi Cave. Mm-hmm. Um... Saw some super mutant gods. I'm gonna describe it as that because it's pretty much fitting. Kinda, yeah. 
Yeah, if you haven't seen those flesh bags, yeah, that's basically there. Went through a door. Uh, almost slipped on an ass because it's very icy. Um, there were a bunch of dead people. You were exploring. Um, oh, also, hello to you. Hi, Kyle. Kyle, the mushroom man, who is not a conqueror. The the conquistador. There. Um, heard some whimper, faint whimpering of somebody basically dying. Said, "Fuck it." It um drop kicked it a bunch um didn't do jack. Um shot it, got natural twenty, basically just bounced off the room, not hitting anybody he he butts the hinges. Um yeah, there was some d some dragon in person um with a child. Uh we helped them, so they're not dead. Um, went, uh, exploring after discovering what happened th here, telling them that the big dragon is kind of nate and went through the uh, halls, found a berserker, healed him up, um, went further, with these t now two dragon fellas, one blind, one... Dumbass berserk, uh, uh, but very fun. Uh, got to a castle, didn't get to steal the whole um, bridge because it's made out of gold, but they need the gold and I don't want to be killed. And uh, basically, found Boris Johnson's a suit of jo Boris Johnson there, the Prime Minister. And. Yeah, it turns out uh, he's been a puppet. Um, went through some fog wall, Dassel's fog wall, boss of fog, and yeah, old world which has been cut off from everything, and found um some turtle. Me, the dumb as I am, rushed to him, tried to put or iced tea on him, Kai. He's saying no, that doesn't work, even though every other beverage works. It's with water, is it not? You let me do goddamn Dr. Pepper! Yeah. Considering the Dr. highest Pepper? quantity of Dr. Pepper, I will read it out. I have one right here. High fructose corn syrup! You're no, you know that it's goddamn water there. You hear that? I have a Dr. Pepper in my hands. Yeah, well, oh, because of that, Ed, we, I decided on chalky milk and poured it all over the fella, who I didn't even uh, um, get the information from with my high passive perception that he's not unconscious, but uh, just a turtle in the uh, goddamn desert. And basically, I got uh, knocked the fuck out, out. My mask was bent, and yeah. And then... The, and, um, dis we discovered this fella. Introduce yourself, fella. Uh, he is currently BRB'd. Ah, oh, for fuck! Oh, it's Johnson! Johnson. Johnson's in the game. While well, he's connecting. Mm -hmm. And that's basically the TLDR? Yep. I'd probably have some more details I will remember in a second. But I'm, I'm gonna go put my mother right away. now. Okay, okay. Oh, Johnson's not having fun. Just not having fun, but yeah, that is basically the gist of it. They entered the dragon keep, found the dragon inside out, went further, rescued some people, went even further, rescued a berserker barbarian from dying, uh, went even further, found the the altar with eggshells on it and the pu meat puppet. Suit, mm. it's currently gone, Johnson. and a whole new world, which is a desert unto a beach sort of situation like the Skeleton Coast. We went back to Monsanto 1. It's... <clears throat> uh. um, so. Also, Byron grew. Oh yeah, Byron's a big boy and now. And Otto only grew a little, little. 
And that reminds me, I still have the ring of talk to animals. I love that, and you still do that noise, even though I have that item. He doesn't know English, he baby. He he does know a little bit. <clears throat> so, my dear fellows, where do you think we should go first? Should we go back back to report this, or should we do some exploring on our own for a while? I'm just having too, too much fun digging trenches in the sand. Sorry, no search. All right. You could make a whole castle with that amount of sand. I'm just, you just see, see basically the bugs bunny goddamn digging in trail. Johnson! 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 What's up? Uh, not a whole lot. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, right. Um. Yes. Pass the command, Chief. Oh, me. Gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta dig. Yep, what have I missed so far? Well, we did the recap uh, about wow. how they have made it to a new world. What do you mean, half? You have. Oh, I heard half. Oh, okay, sorry. Well, have. Me. Uh, have. Wait, we did? Void. Yeah. Void, 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 Johnson, you weren't there in the last session, so I basically shut. Yeah, I was. You were there for, like, the first Jan bit, weren't you? January 7th. Oh, that's right. I left like half an hour before stream ended. Yes. So they happened upon a large desert. They found a turtle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Splashed him with chalky milk. I do remember that. Uh. Then one of your patriots got you know hit. And knocked the fuck out. Knocked the fuck out. I got yam shut. That's how we describe this. Yes. Now, Johnson, Akuma is asking whether or not you guys would like to go back as to report what you've done, report what you have seen, and to, well, basically get supplies for the next journey. Uh, you I cannot bring your car unless you have some way of moving it over what is basically a bog. Bag of holding. <clears throat> for Can you get an RV into that small bit? You I don't can disassemble it I don't, and assemble it like Lego. That would be dumb. <laughs> it would work. It would also be dumb. <clears throat> I mean, work. it wouldn't. It wouldn't hurt you to get some exercise. He is currently just, shoveling I'm, a crud ton of sand. I'm making the mother of all trenches here, Johnson. <laughs> Why are you making a trench? Can't scramble over every egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be smart also, to go get some. my goddamn, um, curse. I am no longer cursed. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, so Zayden's items got uncursed in the most unceremonious of ways by literally stepping into the new world and then going, all right, fuck you, peace. And just dipping. I'm still confused how to feel about that. I mean, if it works, it works. Well, reporting back does seem to be the most responsible thing to do. Uh, yeah. That ain't too much fun. <clears throat> Bro. <laughs> that was a low oh. bounce. Uh, it, it's one of those, it's one of those days. Mm. Well, Zayden, you can stay here for a while if you want. Digging trench, digging trench, digging trench, digging trench. Me. Would also, you mind holding... <clears throat> Pix's character is still not back from wherever the hell he went. He went mm. to go pee. <laughs> he went to Israel. We are in Israel! What do you mean? Look at this desert! <laughs> I thought it was Saudi Arabia. No, I thought we was in Ohio. We're in the Middle East. Oh, uh, no! I thought we was in Ohio. <laughs> Way too normal for Ohio, okay? I don't know, it's pretty rad. Also, by the way, if you guys were actually to look at my geography, it fucking works. Does it? <laughs> yes. Interesting. Face the wall. No. 
Why couldn't we have gone to Agrabah instead? <laughs> well, we... we might find a flying um, carpet here somewhere. Why couldn't, we just, why couldn't we just went home? No. Okay, you guys want to go home? You guys can go home. You just have we to get up. The... Home. You guys can go up the rope ladder back into the what rope dragon. ladder? You guys had a rope ladder. At least one of y'all did. And then we you had guys... a rope. Yeah. Is that not in the ladder? ladder? You rope just added works. ladder pieces. Magically. You turn oh, around, something. bam, it's a rope ladder. Hmm. Uh, collect well, that shit for up. <laughs> You guys tie me up with some rope? Ha! Ah, no, fuck you, rope ladder. <laughs> well, Zayden, since you seem to be enjoying yourself here, you and me can hold down the fort until we get back. Come on, Johnson. Fortify, fortify, let's go. Right, let's go, let's go do some things. I swear okay. to God, Zayden's an Imperial fist of all. Wait, what, what am I telling you? Why am I telling you what to do? You're the closest thing we have to a leader. You have the vehicle. Listen, it's sometimes. Do you consider him the leader? Well, the closest uh, thing to a leader, not necessarily a leader. leader. Ah, he drinks a li liter of water. <laughs> I think. I think. Um, I, mean, I think nobody's the leader. I think we're all equally um, adventurous and idiotic. Very true. Go very true. What you would. You know, so let's go back and go for do some things. Absolutely. Come on, Byron. Well, you will still stay here and help me fortify. We don't need to fortify. This isn't... Uh... I said, and boy, not you. Uh, on, I, I, I'll actually stay here. Good. One last NPC I have to follow this. <laughs> May I remind you, we all laugh with him. <laughs> Zayden, you here. Gosh darn it. Thought I'd actually get back. Oh well. I guess this guy will feed me. What? Huh? You, you hear that as Byron, like, hops past. Hold up. You speak in uh, the English? He just kind of looks at you as he gets... Just like, just like he, wait a minute, points at him in, like, crotch position. <laughs> he gets slightly out of uh, out of range of your ring of animal understanding. He goes... I didn't hear that. Wait, come closer. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it runs away from you. <laughs> Digs is <laughs> behind him like in shock. Land shock. <laughs> Back in range. It, it quickly scurries up Akuma. Akuma, it is like six pounds. And very fat. It is fat. about to be a goddamn hole underneath you. Zayden, stop. You're scaring Byron. He's so heavy. By the way, if you've ever been, like, clawed up on by a cat that is so much heavier yeah. than you think, yeah. it's that feeling. Why would you get off of me? <laughs> Jaden, you're scaring him. <laughs> there's, there's, like, the, the sand is rumbling. There's, like, a pit in, about to emerge underneath them. Fucking sit. You're heavier than a dragon's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it hops uh, off of Akuma and just scurries up the rock face. I'm just I'm, I'm going up the I'm going up the rope. I'm, I'm Can you I'm at tired. least help me out? Uh, oh, I'll toss your rope. Mm. Here. I love how oh, goddamn Zayden transformed from a kind of sane um calculated it's spy in to, uh, this is goddamn chaotic in castle because this is, well, is already nuts, so why not just chaotic? It's, it's That's what living in the Westro does to you. Mm. You go crazy! Except, unless you're, unless you're me, then you're just, you're already born crazy. What makes Ohioans, um... Uh, 
Let's go. I before I get more somewhere. sand in my, before I get more sand in my feet, hooves. I don't even know what they are anymore. They're boots. Hey, hey, come on, did you know that? And your, uh, um, pet knows how to speak, um, common. Well, understand it. Oh, really? How do you know that? Well, I have this nifty little ring here, as you remember, I purchased. Which is just, um, fills up a catina of water. Um, what water? What fucking water? I'm water pouch. In your phone, okay. hello, 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 um, hello. Well, you see, zip water. Inside Johnson is just climbing and singing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just climbing up the ladder. Let me get out of here. Oh, I see. Like little Aussie there? Oh. Aussie. Hi! Or oh, whatever his name. Otto. Oh yeah, Otto. The Otto. Yes. Oh. It kind of just like flings its head back and forth as it's trying to talk to you. But only Zayden can actually understand. Mm -hmm. Otto. Hello, Otto. Otto, 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 Otto. Otto, 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 Otto. 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 Well, <laughs> well, that's interesting. I can't really I'm understand this way my a microphone is. At the very least, I know when he's hungry. I need I need money to buy a, a microphone because I hate how sensitive this webcam mic is. Dude, just turn down the sensitivity Dude, no. in the settings. It is turned down. How far, dumbass? Hold at on, least let's it's... See. Johnson, listen. At least it's not that sensitive that, that Noble could hear you rip ass. <laughs> okay. See. Oh my gosh. That was yesterday. Somebody yeah, listen. This is with this is with the sensitivity turned. I think all the way down. Yeah, minus a hundred decibels. I don't hear it anything. just picks up too well. I didn't hear anything with that that like little bit that you said between the oh. hundred decibels, and it just picks up way too well. Hold on. Let me do something here. Well, now you're deafened and muted. Absolutely amazing. All right, so, Okuma, you finally get the sand out of your boots as much as possible. And you start climbing up the wall. Listen, it, it's the same at, ne at minus 100 and then 100 decibels. I w did the mic test thing. What the fuck? Did you do it through Discord and your yeah. computer? Oh, not my computer. That that yeah. would probably crash it. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll buy a microphone eventually. I, I called a guy about a job yesterday, but I guess he done went home. He didn't answer the phone. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is Saturday, so. No, I called him yesterday. It was about two. It was about three thirty. Never answered the phone. Mm, weird. Yeah. Hey, you might call back Monday. Okay. Well, I don't know. What are we doing now? Right now, you and Akuma are going... Uh, well, you've reached the top. Akuma is at the middle. Byron is waiting smugly at the top. You can see the uh, short tail that he has just swiping back and forth. Like mm. a metronome. Waiting for you guys to go back through the uh, White Dragon's Keep to go and get supplies. Problem is, you have to walk like an hour through the keep, an hour to get to your car, and then drive. So it's going to be like an all-day ordeal just to get back to town. Yes. Well, not really, considering town from the area that you parked it, which you parked about an hour from the keep... Just 30 minutes to the White House, 30 minutes, well, actually, no, an hour and 30 to get to your car from right here at the breath of the cave. Uh, then you can go to this, to anywhere in Luestra. Uh, the furthest point that you could possibly go takes about six hours. Mm. And that's by navigating through back roads, because unfortunately there is no main road until yeah. you get to the middle of Luestra. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
So we, we need to we need to just uh we'll head the closest town we can. Alright, that is Snowbrush. Cool. Go back there again. Mm, the home of Dr. Pepper. We're popular there. <laughs> Alright, so it'll take you about an hour and a half to two hours to get to Snowbrush. First walking and then driving. Okay. Imagine walking floats. <laughs> You'll have that ability. I do have that ability. You'll I have, have it on the big. You'll I'm... have it on them big jobs. Dude, I have Hermes Tims. Remember? That is right, but you only have it for like what four hours? Uh, Third, hold on. Hermes boot supply. Wing boots. Up to four hours. Hmm. Resets when? Uh, every long rest. Hmm. Could this be considered a long rest of me waiting for the guys? That is technically a short rest. What do you mean a short rest? Short rest is four hours. Long rest is eight hours. Stop <clears throat> Tastes like suffering. Anyway, so with the Johnson and Akuma, we'll go. So, you guys walk through the keep. You notice there's a lot of bodies that are nude. Hmm. And once you guys get to the entrance of the first cave, the glacial cave. You notice that someone's been here. The walls are propped up. Hmm. Like with cross beams and... Oh, the... Is that a dwarf? What the fuck? You see a... Uh, you see someone actually actively propping up the uh, walls so that they don't fall. Hmm. What the hell? Ah. Why are you doing big folk doing here? Whoa, better question, what the hell are you doing out here? Fixing walls, what are you doing? I'm leaving temporarily. Ah. Well shoot. Yep. Get out of here. Yeah, well that's kinda what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> he continues to put up the walls. As you guys go further back, uh, further forward, back, eh, who cares, closer to where the entrance is, you see even more dwarves putting up more supports. Who the hell called the Dwarf Construction Company? Ah, it's Johnson! Everyone! They made it on the live! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> You see just a bunch of dwarves that honestly should not be there, but they are there. Um, and honestly, one comes out from behind a rock, already just fucking blasted, and he goes, I knew they were gonna be in on Earth! <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, didn't think we was gonna think we didn't think we was in that much peril. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? You're going up against the White King of the North. My face just fun. Splat. He falls <laughs> face first. Oh, don't mind him. You see a slightly smaller female dwarf come behind, uh, coming from behind you and dragging yet another face full of ground dwarf, picking him up and dragging him along as well. I get this like they get like this all the time. Huh. We're actually down from Snowbrush. We saw that the glacier was actually uh, starting to melt, and we decided to come and shore it up a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Well, we was headed back to Snowbrush to go buy some things. Well, happy day. My husband actually yeah. runs the general store. 
Oh, okay. That was the most southern dwarf accent I've ever heard. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Consider this. I am southern. Mm. I yes. could go Minnesotan. Well, don't you know? Well, that's a good thing to hear. My my husband like actually. Accent at this point. <laughs> I would much rather have the southern accent understood. Uh, I probably. <laughs> Uh, British British dwarf. <laughs> no. Ew. Ew. Yeah. Ew. ew. You only get that with bureaucrats, and we ain't doing that here. No, there are no bureaucrats. There are bureaucrats. They're just. <laughs> there are no bureaucrats. <laughs> there are. There is no bureaucrats in Boston. Say, um. <laughs> you can quote that. That's hilarious. Um. It's bad. I'm trying. <laughs> It's banned from China. China, a bureaucratic state. There is no bureaucrats. Um, well, Lily and Lily, if you really want to do anything and go back to the store, tell him that his wife says hello and to send you off with a bunch more uh, supplies for us as well. I saw that big fancy RV, and honestly, I think it's pretty cool. Our cars, oh, unfortunately, you. can't hold as much, and as a snowbrush community, we can't afford enough for have a car. Ah, uh, fair plus, enough. Plus, we got I, a yeah. couple of orcs that probably won't even be able to fit in it. I don't even know how I managed to afford that thing. That was like a miracle once in a lifetime. Well, I mean, a lot of adventurers happen to come into some very good amount of money. And unfortunately, I don't have the liver for it. So... Fair enough. Off you go. No, he's an alcoholic. Of course he is. That's okay. not a quote. Fun fact. Uh, whenever someone mentions liver for uh, cowardice or liver for it, like, don't have the liver for it, that's actually a medieval saying. Mm. It's uh, because they thought that the four humors... No, the liver it, was the way of it. Yeah, the humors. Guess what? Yeah, they're making what? a comeback. Zayden, Zayden knows about the four humors. Am I right, fella? The four fluids that make up a human. The four humors. The four humors is just absolutely disgusting. The f yeah, the four humors are absolutely disgusting. But the dwarves think it's hilarious to say that, so they do it anyway. Fair enough, fair enough. Satan over here going, All right, how do I kill my DM? My DM knows too much about medical history. Listen, knowing that too much about medical history is better than knowing nothing about medical history. Indeed. Anyway, so continuing on, you guys walk through and you guys see a bunch of other dwarves over engineering their struts. I'd rather it be over engineered than under engineered. You see them basically making stretch that can hold up a cathedral. And then well, some. Fair enough. I mean, there's a, ice is not light. What do you think, Akuma? I think Akuma's away from his computer right now. I think Akuma's dead. Ripperoni, pepperoni, oh, Akuma. Yeah. Oh, okay. What the humors? Flem, flem, oh. Okay, okay. Flem, bile, blood, and no. one other. No, no, it's blood, yellow bile, black bile, and phlegm. Yeah. That is so stupid. That and, and <laughs> goddamn bile is twice there. Just a different color. It's Excuse already working, me. Dude. <clears throat> We're talking about something. Excuse you. Hey, sorry. Yeah. Uh, did you not hear me? Yes, no, okay. No, we didn't. No, beforehand, your mic was not lighting up to indicate that you were talking, nor did we hear you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I plugged and unplugged my mic. Mm. Uh, sorry about that, chat. Okay. Yeah, but, but, I mean, I was asking a question over and over and over again. I did not hear it. I am so sorry. What was that question? I was asking the dwarves. Did you see any dragonborn run through here? Oh yeah, indeed. You see one of them that is uh, on one of the barrels that's being pushed. 
I'm dead. Are you heading closer to Snowbrush if you're going that far? Okay. Well, it's good to know that they got out alive. Yeah, no kidding. You just see him being pushed slowly by a couple other dwarves that are like, Get off the barrel, Jeremy! He's like, No. I see it. Hmm. Whatever they're building here, it seems pretty big. Well, all we're doing is, uh... Oh, sorry. I'm going this way. Goodbye. One of the younger dwarves. Ah, I can actually understand. Uh, I can give you a little bit of a thing. Uh, what we're building here is threat so that the area doesn't fall in and all know itself. We were hurrying for, uh, we were hurrying so far that the dragonborn actually had to stop us and tell us what was going on. We're here to shore everything up so it doesn't collapse because this is one of the only ways to the new world. We're going to get a lot of business if we can actually shore this place up. The new world? Aye. That's what we heard of him. He told us of a prophecy of some sort. That the way would be opened by the goddess of chaos. And the, oh, what did you say? The seven-headed menace will rise again only to be struck down? Or, what was it? Barred from existence? It was barred and struck down from existence. Thank you. Barton stuck down from existence. I by see. The, by the old man of platinum. Only whenever a couple of adventurers are able to make it to the, to the final grave of the king of gods. And allow him to actually rest, bringing back the sun god or something. I don't know. Well, uh, funny thing about that. We actually discovered the new world. Don't you listen to anything that I said? I know that. We all know that. That's why we're short up the cave. Ah. Exactly. But we got like, what, 42 tons of uh, metric tons of rock, so we got to make sure that our struts are over engineered for the carriages that are going to come in back and forth. Well, your help is always appreciated. I right, thank you. I'll tell me mom that about that you'll probably make her blush. Anyway. I gotta get back. Unfortunately the oaf uh, this oaf the one that uh, the one dwarf that answered him earlier is currently in a wheelbarrow that he is wheeling out. Unfortunately a lot of the oldens they decide to get a little bit too tipsy on the job and I have to wheel them out. Huh, understandable. That ain't doodles. And he just like walks by, wheeling three dwarfs in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> All of them blasted drunk. They are dwarfs. It is. <laughs> it is a normal Tuesday. <laughs> it is their religion to be drunk. Talk about a drunk tank on wheels. Like I said, just a normal Tuesday. Well, I guess we probably ought to be going. We don't want to sit here for, we don't want to be going for too long, because God forbid we can't we can't leave people without uh, adult supervision for too long. Sounds good. Seven headed menace, platinum warrior. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's go. Oh, come on, Byron. See him like trotting beside you. As you guys continue down the, the rolling hills, you guys actually see that the church is the center of the operations. This church, uh, the church's white fence, unfortunately, has been broken by a couple of carts, but uh, the priest does not seem to be too too down and out about it. He's actually Hello helping, again. setting setting up like a soup kitchen and stuff. Hmm, okay. Hello again. Hello. He nods, handing you both a bowl of soup. For your travels. Thank you. 
Your friends had come through about an hour earlier. They should be on their way or almost to Snowbrush. I advise that you go and pick them up. Okay. Also, Some... here. He hands you a small bag. It looks to be like a small burlap sack. Okay. This is for the baby. Unfortunately, not a lot of people know this, but unfortunately, half dragon babs do need nourishment in the form of dragon's milk. Okay. Not a lot of people can get their hands on it, but I have my ways. Fair enough. It is a small pouch, bur sorry, small burlap pouch of dehydrated dragon's milk. Yeah, okay. We'll make sure they get their hands on this, this during our travels. He nods. Yeah. Thank you for your services, father. No problem. Do not call me father. Call me brother. Oh, brother. Huh. Yeah, that does sound better. Thanks for your help, brother. He smiles yeah. and nods. Um, I'll be right back just a second. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Johnson, I guess, goes to take Salik behind, uh, take Salik behind the church. I think to myself, I thought, not they, I thought pastors like to be called father. I thought, eh, brother works too. All right, back over with Z uh, Zayden and Ne. 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 Are you there? Nice to say ne. Hex. I'm here. Everybody was Good. talking, so I was waiting my turn. Thank you. So Ne, you're watching this absolute madman, the man that decided to put chocolate milk all over you. Just tunnel gigantic ditches into the sand. Setting up barricades and nothing but s and anything he can while shouting the word fortification. Fortify, 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 fortify. fortify. What do you do? Okay, first off, what did I miss? I, and by that, I mean literally everything. Okay, so Kuma and J uh, Johnson went back and they found that the people of Snowbrush uh, are actually fortifying the cave because the supporting ice is melting. So they're making sure that the way is safe so that people can go to and from the new world to the old world and old world to the world to the new world. Um, Johnson and Akuma also found that the uh, priest priest of a, uh, an order of religion that uh, has been banned for quite a while uh, yeah. of course. Ha, uh, has set up a small relief area for the workers that are working on the area that was once entombed in snow and ice uh, and they're going to go back with some dehydrated dragon's milk so that the baby can actually you know have food baby. there is a baby there is, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and we're flashing feel... back to you, Nee, because you have no idea what the hell is going on. You've been splashed by this motherfucker that is deciding to just put nothing but trenches. And the two sane people have unfortunately left. And you the are left there all... with a small, uh, with what looks to be a teenage boy. Both of you are watching this man yelling fortify as what he why is there a teenage boy here how about you ask him no like when did he come into the equation that is he, the he, boy. he has been there this entire He's time this entire, it's, it's like, the, he uh, he introduced himself to you last session i don't remember anything man it's okay. the artificer 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 yeah, Okay, I. Mm. Oh. I really don't know how to react to this. There's a lot going on, and I'm kind of just stuck here now, so I don't really think there's anything that I can do. You can interact with the NPC that's there, kind of 
worryingly watching. Well, he doesn't seem to be doing anything, so I figure there's nothing to worry about. The NPC isn't, but Zayden is just tunneling and creating fortifications. Yeah, but Zayden is also Zayden. You don't have to interact with him if you don't want to. Just mean. No, I don't know you enough, and I, frankly, you do weird things without ever informing me what you're doing or why you're doing. And I also... Out of character, I'm really tired of asking. Mm. And my reasons. It, it especially helps that I don't get very helpful responses. So, I really don't know what to do, and I'm about ready to just get my turn. The NPC... But the boy that you haven't really been paying attention to holds up a wet towel towards you. I, I'm sorry for uh, what, what Mr. Zayden has done to you. Why are you apologizing on his behalf? Well, Zayden actually doesn't come from around here, nor from Westra or from your continent. He was kind of dropped into the world by his something. And unfortunately, he doesn't actually know exactly how to use manners that well. Do they not have them where he comes from? The NPC kind of, sh uh, the boy kind of shrugs. I, I don't know, actually. He keeps talking about how there's a war going on where he was and how, and that's the reason why he looks like that. But Moestra hasn't really been in a war since about 200-ish years. Or, or, or maybe there was a couple of skirmishes that could be classified as civil wars, but I, I, I don't know. History is not my strong suit. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Honestly, I think he's a little bit autistic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> says, the, says the artificer. Who the fuck is coughing? Oh, that's just my dad. In the other room. Mm. Well, I hope that cough goes away soon because as I feel bad for him. Same. Uh, oh, thanks, guys. Uh, he, 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 he actually is uh, now on... He, he, he said that he actually has a couple of kids that he's watching. Uh, at home, so at least he's trying. He, he's been giving me jobs about looking after his guns and creating new ones, and I got to, I, I, I got like an all expense paid trip to the Dwarven Empire, which is just nice. But I, I don't think he actually knows how to, well, use manners and express himself normally. Okay. I have no idea. I really don't know where to go from here. Not even gonna ask me why I'm doing this? Why ain't none of us, ain't half of us here. Uh, the, the boy actually takes off the hood that he's been wearing this entire time and scratches his head. You can tell that he is uh, about, a, he's blonde headed. And it's like, ah, gosh darn, I think I have some sand in my hair. Ah, uh, Mr. Zayden? Huh? Mas uh, why don't you take a break and uh, we, we can have some lunch? Sounds like a, a good idea. Um, let me just finish up this last modification. Why are you in fortifying? The... There's no one here. Well, well, we don't know what is out here. Yeah. Um. I mean, did you expect him to be here? 
No. Who knows what else is in this desert? We need to make sure that Ed, um, and the others get back, that they get to a safe mm -hmm. haven, basically. Mm -hmm. This is basically like a, um, oh, what is it called? Mm -hmm. All the, uh, mm -hmm. hence, hence, uh, border between this, these two areas. So, making it fortified gives us an advantage to keep it safe. Mr. Nee, I know it might there... seem nuts, but I, I, mean, I have my reasons. <laughs> he turn, uh, the boy turns to you, Mr. Nee. Mr. Nee, is there anyone else in this desert that we have to worry about? Hey. Mm -hmm. I Did really have. From a boat? Sorry for interrupting you with that. No, it's fine. I, I, I don't think I'm in a D and D mood right now. Mm, I get that. It sucks, but I'm just like not feeling it. Oh, okay. I, I want to be here. I want to play this, but I'm just like. It's a rough day. I have no idea. Do you mm. feel drained or tired? It's just one of them days. Yeah. Uh, just. It's not about I, the I, I don't want to. I don't want to take up time in the session. You guys just go do something. I mean, don't give a damn. Oh, okay. Um. So we'll go over with Akuma and Johnson. Jeez. It's all about the he said, she said, no shit. <laughs> Johnson and Akuma, you finally get to your RV. Holy hell, I have done more out. We it don't have to get... slightly sunk into the now slightly muddy moss. We're going to have to get some better tires or something, because I oh, that walk was rough. Well, at least we got some good exercise. Right, little buddy? Meh. Mm -hmm. Meh. <laughs> um, the door opens, and you see Mista. Hi! Hello, Mista. Uh, we might have a situation. What's the situation? Uh, a couple of your dads here. Baba? Which one? The fuck? <laughs> fuck. Well, well you know what? Ah, uh, he looks kind of angry. Where's he at? Uh, he kind of points to the back of the RV. He's not wanting to talk to me. Okay, well, maybe we can go talk to him for a moment. That would be Hello, nice, Baba. yes. I fell <sighs> into the so... RV. Hello, Johnson. How you doing? <sighs> not very darn well, I can tell you that. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, two things I didn't want to happen happened. Oh, like. Uh, let me guess. Does one of them involve a dead dragon? That's part of the issue, yes. Oh, lovely. Mm. Yes. The cult of bone was here. Yeah, I figured. Two things happened that I didn't want to happen, and yet they did, because fate is funny and fickle like that. Fate's a motherfucker. Thank you. Anyway. Well, you are the god of fate, so well, I guess you're used to it at this point. Yes, I am. And I tell you what, this fucking fly, I'm gonna kill his goddamn. 
There's been a fly buzzing around me for 20 minutes. Kill him. I, <laughs> I can find me my wife. It's just. No, that, that was entirely in character. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Well, you know, my dad are discussing stuff while you're just wrestling a fly. <laughs> a fly. <laughs> well, one, both of my brothers have enacted their parts of the plan, and two, both dragons are dead. Wait, I'm bitch. The copper dragon? Killed. Hey. Will we just visit a at her like hours ago. Mm-hmm. What happened to her? Murder. Are you not picking up what I'm putting down? Murder. 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 Well, Why am I pretty... surprised? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure the person who did that also killed the King of the North. You're right, but you're also wrong. Well, what the fuck's that doing? They the are my brothers, but they're two different ones. Both aiming for similar things. My phone, apparently. <laughs> Why are you Hold buzzing? On. I put Hold you on, on My dad's on the tractor. I'm going to go see what he's doing. Okay. Both of them aiming for two, di two similar things. New forms. For them, their forms are nothing but limited. And unfortunately, they don't have the beauty that is me to help them. I could have even easily made them forms, but I guess they wanted different ones. Chaos so, went so with. So apparently, he's just cleaning up the burn pile. Okay. Chaos went with the mother of all chromatic dragons, Tima. <laughs> And Order went after one of, well, basically the father of all metallic dragons, Baphomet. Or however the hell you're supposed to say your names, their names. Dragons and Draconic is difficult. Those sound very dangerous. Oh, they most certainly are. And, whew, they could be called gods in and of themselves if they were to be born and reared correctly. But now that they do have gods in them, it is infinitely worse. Well, Thankfully, with entropy on my side now, And him Entropy. actually wearing clothes. Yes. Mm. Entropy. Oh. <laughs> You've met him before. Hold on. Where is he? You see like a large circle just open up. And you see a familiar face. We do? Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> oh. And he, put, Hello, he, lifts, he lifts up his uh, mask. It, it's a Chuck E. Cheese mask. He lifts it up, and it's the it's the god that you actually freed from within the Chuck E. Cheese dimension. Okay. Oh, hello. Hey, I cousin, like what's up? Weird. Hey, not much. <laughs> much. Discovering new lands, discovering dead body, he's discovering turtles. You know the usual. The usual. The usual. Yeah. So I'm actually on uh, dad's side now. Mm, okay. uh, one of the dads. Well, well, technicality, well, them being a world spawn me. I guess I am a kid of one of them, or all three of them. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, your help is always appreciated, cousin. That's nice to hear. He kind of like, you see him like slightly hang out of the hole that he's created. There is nothing behind him. It is just a hole in space, him, and he's just flopped out of it like, I don't give a fuck. Okay. If he honestly had a cigarette, he would be smoking it. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh gosh, get some, get some oh. clothes on. No. I have clothes on. Do you oh, want there to see are, them? There's oh, children in this RV. What, you? There's... <laughs> no, him. Are you pointing to Mista? Yeah. Dad, I don't got clothes on either. Am I naked? Yeah, I don't have any more clothes for you. I have to go to town and get some because you exploded. All right. I was dead. I know. I'm sorry <laughs> that your t-shirt and blue jeans got exploded. I ate them. They were tasty. <laughs> Oh, well, it's good to have another oh. ally. On. Well, it's uh, good to have another ally on our side. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm kind of just here for the fun of it. Entropy is just energy lost within a system. True. I'm here to make sure she doesn't get to you. Who? Uncle or they daft? Unfortunately, a little. But then again, they aren't un omnipotent. Ah. <laughs> Raven bitch. <laughs> oh. You lost, you lost me. Oh my gosh. Uh, why do we have to be so cryptic about these things? It's Unfortunately, it's because we have to be, because if we don't be cryptid about it, we literally can ensue a penalty. That's bullshit! About your damage, what this. Alright, so. You know the whole... old stories about how there once was a raven that uh, made everything go to shit? Mm, uh, I may require that. Oh yeah, the fairy tale. I think there was a fox involved as well. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. You're looking at the author of them. <laughs> oh. Well, that's one way of being able to actually tell everybody about how the world was created without us pursuing a penalty. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought so. Can you guess who is the wolf? Who is the rabbit? And who is the fox? I could probably guess it, but you know what? I'm going to save after smarter men than I. My guess, chaos, order, and fate. Wrong. No. The wolf is order. Always patrolling the exact same areas, making sure everything is in line. The rabbit is chaos, setting up traps and pitfalls, but also just causing general nuisance. And the cute little fox, you can actually see Entropy conjure a band of fox ears and stick it on top of of Puck's head. Oh, you're the fox. Yes. Oh, right. I am. And then just takes off the wolf ears and chucks mm. them in the portal that Entropy's hanging out of. Hey. But wait, who's the raven? <laughs> oh! 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 oh. I... Hold on, let me check. You see him, like, dip back into the portal and come out with, like, a pair of the goofiest-looking glasses and, like, a sheet that kind of just rolls out of the portal and onto the floor. Let's see. Are we talking swirly glasses or Groucho Marx glasses? Glasses that have served no other purpose than just to be silly. Hmm. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like the biggest sunglasses, like you know. It's how... like the it's like the it's like the sunglasses that Osama bin Laden wore in that one Family Guy episode. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh sure. my god, you don't hold on. Hold I on. don't watch Family Guy. I That's don't. lame. 
I just see it on TikTok all the time. Let's see. I'm not on TikTok, so. I need a, a I need to actually turn back on my Instagram. Uh, he goes. <coughs> Uh, okay, I can kind of... No, I can't, because that's a section paragraph. All Hold right. on, I'll screenshot it, and I will send it in... Yeah. General. 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 We did the same idea. Uh, bigger than those. But yes. Oh, good God. <laughs> Lovely. He goes, uh, yes. Yes, okay, here we go. I can actually talk a little bit about it. Okay. He throws both of those back in the portal. So, you know Jade, right? The friend, the relative of Prime Knight. Oh, yes, I remember her. Yes. She's not actually there. If you're catching my drift. Okay. Good, good. We got a couple of smart ones. Finally! Ugh. You know how many times we've had to do this shtick alone? Four. You're the fourth time. Good job, Marty. One of them got it automatically. They've never even met this woman. And they got it. Mm. It was impressive. Speaking of which, I did see a strange dream. Mm -hmm. I think I did see her in my dream. Like, an old man wanted me to kill him. I tried to, and I was stopped. Puck and actually sounded... looks up whenever you start talking about the dream. And the one that stopped me sounded oddly like Jay. Yeah. Or it sounded like like her robot voice, anyway. Mm -hmm. you, you saw him. Is he alright? Where is he? Can you tell me? I don't know. It was in an old house. He was alone. He wanted me to put him out of his misery to stop a cycle or something. He's still alive. The plan can continue. I would say thank the Maker, but he really is the Maker, so... You met the original. Hmm. The original? Mm -hmm. You know how I'm Puck? Yes. yes. I'm named after him. All the Pucks are. Mm. Ah. But what happens if he were to die? He would finally be able to go back into the system and fix everything. Problem mm. is, she is wanting him to stay alive because she is sentimental. Mm. Mental uh. being the most operative word. Sentimental, mental. So in other words, she's fucked in the head. If she had a head, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, she's kind of everywhere, so be careful. Mm. Have you seen any boxes that float in the air? Telling you, no. good job, or you leveled up, or here's a bunch of stats for you. And you suddenly grow stronger? Uh, I don't really notice when I get at stronger. Uh, Mm, I don't know, maybe. That's her. That's her influence on the world. A lot mm. of adventurers like that, being able to see numbers and equate that to power. So they get a little overboard trying to put it one stat. As they call it, okay. min-maxing. <laughs> Munchkin. Mm. Well, in other news, good and bad... You don't have to worry about Madam Pink anymore. I hate her! Exactly. I am sorry? He did. Well, technically she ate him and then and he hatched out of his orb and then consumed her. 
kind of, from Picks. the inside. I don't remember that. Uh, Pix, that was before, that was the uh, Little Miss Pink fight. I yeah, no, I, I just, it, it's fine. I have it on my YouTube channel. You guys go, yep, I know. Yeah. So yes, good news, Madam or Little Miss Pink is no more. Oh, thank goodness. Ew. The bad, the bad news is, he did lose someone. Yeah, I I see that. Honestly, that spirit was honestly supposed to be down and out for a while. How mm -hmm. you were able to keep her on this plane of existence was pretty interesting. Very mm -hmm. true, I guess. I mean, I would. I mean, me and my team were the one, one that avenged her death. We'll get her back. Don't worry, may hopefully, maybe I don't know. Oh no, no, she actually needs to stay where she is. I'm sorry mm. to say. You're saying she's alive? No. What happens is that a soul is put into. Oh, what does you guys call it? A slight reincarnation. Okay. They go through the process, similar to Christian Limbo. Okay. Similar in that they a soul goes in there, and if they are good to go, and they can be pulled as a blank slate, all memory is wiped and put into a new body. Okay. There are new souls being put into the pot. There are old souls that have been through the cycle so many times that uh, unfortunately they can't exactly, you know stay in the cycle kind of like whenever you recycle money okay can only go so far it's not metal yeah. so yeah she wow. she's in that cycle right now yeah uh entropy is just like who's over that anyway Wow. Right, right, I know who. That's in the bitch. Well, whomever she comes back as, I wish her, her a good life. Exactly. I'm just glad I got Dingle Dick back. Well, you mentioned the Copper Dragon. Yeah, yeah. she's complete. Well, before we left, she gave me a choice of an item. And I chose this evocation amulet. Entropy kind of looks at it. Oh shit, that's mine! Oh, really? Yeah! How'd you get that? How'd she get that? I don't remember I... giving it to anybody. Hold oh, the no. fuck! You see him, like, disappear and you guys hear just, like, a bunch of wacky things going on in the back. And... I was told the damn thing. Just a bunch of Ben Nettie sound effects. Yes. Uh, Puck goes and, like, wipes his face. He goes, I apologize for him. He hasn't exactly been out and about in several centuries. It's um, fine. Yeah, it's okay. The amulet served me well again. It's a little mis Listen, pain. if I was any normal person, I'd have a heart attack meeting every one of you. <laughs> uh, understandable. I just want to. I just want to get this job over with and go retire. What that amulet does is that every gemstone has a certain power tied to it. It doesn't have to actually be a gemstone, but a sort of type of gem. Because gemstones, like pearls, can hold water. Hmm. That's exactly what, what was in this. Bigger the Are gemstone, you... bigger the power. Smaller the gemstone, the more precise the power. I mean, the only things close to gemstones I have with me right now are a giant emerald and a sun crystal. I pray, please do not put the sun crystal in there. Not until you get to a certain point, then I'll tell you to do it. Ah. Okay. All right. But I guess if that's the case, this, this thing's going to need more ammo. You know, the giant the emerald can be cut into smaller bits. Emeralds have the power of earth and bugs. 
so. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, so. Sort of. I mean, what? Am I able to summon a swarm or something? <laughs> not sure. Try it. Just not in the RV, because I am here, and I don't want locusts everywhere. Not again. I would rather that not happen in the RV either, because I would probably end up killing you, Akuma. <laughs> Understandable. I mean, I probably not. I mean, I probably don't want want to cut down this giant emerald because I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. I mean, it's... Listen, the last time a bunch of locusts come up, some really crazy crap happened in a book. Entropy kind of like comes back out, holding the exact same amulet, just a little bit more shiny. I got it. Hmm. It's the exact same, except yours is older for some reason. Hmm. And he just perhaps tosses this, it back behind him. Perhaps this was a is the first. Yeah, probably. I pick up a me. lot of strange things. Doesn't surprise me. Well, once I find a few more gems to put in this, I'll be able to use it all willy nilly. Lucky. Here we go. Is this is really cool? I will mm -hmm. warn you. It does. If you use too powerful of a spell and you don't have the mana to supply it, you will go. Poof. Oh, that sounds about gosh. right. Well, there's always a drawback with magic items. Some of them is less, some of them is more. It's not exactly a curse. It's just like a con of using the pro. Everything has a price. I'll ding, ding, ding! Price. There you go, Christian man! You got it right. <laughs> you learn after a long life. Exactly. You had the a pretty long magic. life. Oh, also, uh, the Dwarven Empire is in Snowbrush and has been wa waiting for you guys to appear, so you better probably go. Yeah, you, yeah, we, we probably, we've kind of been holding up here. Ah, uh, good point. And so, so I guess to recap with this thing, don't use the Sun Crystal yet. Don't you use too powerful of a spell and find some gemstone. Got it. Got it. There you go. Uh, so, do we, hmm. Hmm. so, do we have do we have a plan to stop order and chaos or something? Order and chaos cannot be stopped. They can be stalemated. And my plan is to do so. However, okay. I need you guys to go do something for me. Oh, uh, yay, another fetch quest. What is it? Bring back the sun. Huh? Is it not there? <laughs> what you're seeing is a sun with little uh, energy. Not enough. It's there to stay, but the god behind it and the healing that it would bring to the world, unfortunately, is not there. You saw the body in the Dwarven Empire. Now I need you yeah. to pull back the soul. Okay. How are we supposed to do that? You have it. You've had the soul. The dang sun crystal. Ain't it? The non-water canteen. Oh, oh I, I was off in, I was oh. off in left field. Oh, I see. Well, I hate to get rid of the non-water canteen. That saved me from having to buy fuel for months. Yes, but with it comes the full power of the sun and able to get rid of the plague. Mm. So, how do we do that? <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, by, doing, by going into the archipelago of monsters, into the oh. old god's realm, there will be a temple. If you had an Asimar with you of any capacity, they would feel a draw there. Drawn towards it, at least. Okay. All, all original Asimars, fallen or not, came from there. Hmm. And they were trying their best to go back. See, the okay. old area where the gods are uh, was abandoned. 
when the original puck became old. They moved to this landmass after pulling a bunch of different worlds together, basically forcing seams to exist, which was not fun to clothe, I might, might add. Mm. Closing that one seam took forever because unfortunately that one had to be staked closed. Mm. Forcing mm. all magnetic things to go with that. But the old world, uh, the old gods area needs to be renewed of sorts. Mm, okay. See. With the bringing of the sun god, the moon goddess will appear with her boy toy of an Asimar. Okay. I can't believe she decided to go with that one. But whenever that happens, you then will get everyone who is the correct in their station to be here. And those who are not get shunted out. The okay. system gets renewed and reset and everything goes back to normal. Mm -hmm. Even your so, friend Zayden will go back home. Uh -huh. Speaking and of I, land masses, we did discover... Oh, do you want to tell him? Uh, oh, yeah. No, you go ahead. You go ahead. You do it. Well, when we discover that uh, Chaos's puppet body, mm -hmm. we all we also found a pathway that led to an island of sorts. That's the start of the archipelago. Mm, okay. Hmm. The archipelago yes, of monsters is kind of where the sea god kind of just went nuts one day. Maybe because I sort of shunted the soul of the sun god away from the sun god and he was like bro what the fuck I don't know but he's angry at me and he'll he likes to send monsters to attack people whether it be right. plesiosaurs or straight up krakens it all depends on his mood hmm so if we were to if, uh, uh, fix the sun and get everything back to normal Will these crazy, wacky references that I have no clue that come from, will those, will those just disappear? Yes. What you are experiencing is a sort of warp. Mm -hmm. Every time has been, is trying to fix itself, which she's angry at me. Don't worry. That's normal. A lot of people are. Uh, and she has been venting her frustration through you. Oh. To me. Because through, she, through me. Through you. What the fuck? She okay. will take any reference and throw it through you as sort of a memetic hazard. That for me, because I'm supposed to guide the strings of fate into its final place. She's the one that makes the strings of fate. And unfortunately I have to deal with her knots and tangles. From time to time. Okay. So whenever she throws you at me with a thread that doesn't exist just yet, she's fucking with me. Oh. Hmm. So, well, I will. I will, I will say I will be able to. I will miss a uh, uh, knowledge of Sanford and Son, even though I've never. I don't even know what that is. Me neither. But. You will be able to live as an old man with your girlfriend and your son. Well, okay. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure something will probably remain in my crazy effed up brain. Oh, don't worry. I'll make it so that everything exists, so that you will die knowing the references. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> I'm just going to scare people in like 30 more years like, Ooga Booga, the automobile. 
<laughs> Ooga Booga Automobile. What about the Cult of Bone? The How cult are they of... doing? <laughs> cult of Bone was literally a garbage fire that finally burned themselves out. There are no more... Parliament is not fun right now. Parliament, hmm. the majority of those that were in power are now gone. Disappeared. Poof. Oh. Dead. Okay. Fun. I didn't even... So you're telling me that they're gone and I didn't even get a chance to kill their leader face to face? Oh, you will. Man. Oh. Though, hmm. not as your brother, but as your uncle. Mm, okay. Oh, great. I have an evil uncle now. I think, You've like, had an evil uncle. I think like 96% of your family is just monsters and evil. No, no. Chaos Chaos doesn't breed. Chaos exists. Uh, I breed. Yes. Uh, I'm aware. Case in point. Hello. Exactly. Anyway, I'm actually going to send the Dwarven Empire your way because I have a sinking feeling that uh, you're going to, one of your party members is going to be unfortunately shunted back to the Gulag, as it were. Mm. I'm, I'm so. afraid I know which one. Yeah, mm. I guess I can tell which one as well. Alright, Shu, get back to where you were. Alright, well... You don't need to move oh. the RV. Oh, by the way, he hands Johnson a bracelet. Uh, I keep okay. this on. Okay. It Ooh. won't be helpful until the end of the archipelago, but at least it'll be fun. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it on me. Hmm. Ooh, it's hoping cool. I don't... Hear, yeah, it's very neat. It's a carved wooden bracelet. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Just, just don't try to activate anything magical with it. You'll understand why. So, no gun thing. Oh, no. That's a tidally different. That's divine. That's not magic. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't really do magic, so, uh... You're good. Yeah. Yeah, listen. Magic? No. That, that's him. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I'm giving it to you. Anyway, goodbye! He claps his hand goodbye. and warps away. The, Bye, Father. The hole is still there, and it just, uh, uh, there's like a little sign that says, out to lunch. He said we don't have to move the RV. He said he'd call the Dwarven Empire to us. Hmm. I, I guess so. Yeah, well, oh. Maybe they'll bring our groceries. Clink, oh, clink, 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 hmm? clink, 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 clink. You guys start to hear clanking coming oh, towards the RV. What the fuck? Sangorn. What on earth? It's him. Oh. Sanko. Fry Knight is here. Ooh. I don't think he's here. So anyway, we're going to go back to me. No, it's, uh, uh, Prime Knight's uh, muted. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 You're up. Prime Knight. Prime Knight, you are Ooh, running towards... from my your slumber. Oh, we got to level Ooh, Prime Knight up. Ooh. Yeah, you need to do that. Prime Knight, you... Uh, yeah. Level 11. You were actually called to this small area of oh, Snowbrush yeah, because of a large disturbance. The glacier oh, just... is melting. <laughs> Me here to kick global warming's ass! It's not global warming, it's just the glacier's melting. And you were, sent, you were sent as the Royal Guard Captain <laughs> with the Royal... <laughs> Army Corps of Engineers <laughs> to go I'm and hard. shore up the cave that leads to the new realm. And he sees that godforsaken RV again. And as you are helping oh, no. moving things out of the ditch, you see it. The motherfucking <gasps> bitch himself, Puck, sitting on a hill 
Not wa- uh, not doing anything, but watching. Yeah, fuck off. What? Don't you want some help? Oh, fuck, I just updated the- Oh, fuck. Never mind. Um... They never transfer Strom into the- Oh. So I'm no, has been like, on your back, so. In the no, no, out of character. Oh, out of character. Um, uh. Oh, I, I have to like um. How dare you? Uh. Update something. Also, if if you you would be so kind and check your um DMs from oh, my okay. side. Oh, okay. The, yeah, the, you moron. Uh, -huh. uh one before it? When I, that is my reaction right now. Ah. Uh, Puck just smiles, looking down at the top of the hill. You know, I have a quest for you, oh champion of time. Mm, well, tough. Not the champion of time. I'm the what? <laughs> oh, you will be. No, I'm the order. Oh, it's a, trust me, you don't want to be under him. Why not? Have you seen Osharu? Poor bastard. You hear an otherworldly. You hear an otherworldly Earl. But he does great work. He does great work, but unfortunately, he is underfunded. What becomes well, champion? I ain't. Become the champion of time, and you literally have all that is, all the riches lost to time. Well, uh, whoop de fucking do. Also, you would have the ability to order me around, as I am the god of fate. Yeah, I don't see the, but you do realize who I'm all about. Time was never uh, uh, the essence of me. Oh, but you are the essence of time. And right now, that is what is needed. Time. Your friends are setting off to the new world. Eh, new world. <laughs> the Archipelago of Monsters calls. Oh, Royal Knight Captain. Captain and... General. Unfortunately, one Zayden is starting to go a little bit crazy. It needs to be brought mm. back under control. So I don't think he's crazy. I think he might be up to something, but... Nah. Who am I telling this to? <laughs> anyway, like he should like probably he go. The RV, window. the RV is already half... The RV is already parked and the your friend is mm -hmm. getting off. You see him pull up his sleeve and see something wrapped around his wrist. And I believe they're starting to leave right now, so you better hurry up. Come oh. on, Johnson. You can you can get this thing out. <laughs> you just hear like the fall out how oh, I'm a, my running noises. No here, no here. No, I have, I have an, I have an exact video of what, of what we hear. Like I'm pretty uh, was... sure. Oh, I'm a, my running noise. Like I'm pretty sure you could pull the doohickey and the thingamabob while turning the wheel. Hold on, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to fight bad internet connection, trying to send this video. Come on, come on, you dirty motherfucker! It's three megabytes. <laughs> it's three megabytes. Why can't? Oh, there we go. Alright, in general. Let me see this. Oh, oh, bad internet. Yeah, it's like that. I agree. <laughs> if you were wondering what that sound was, it was a it was a truck trying to get out of mud. Trust me, I've been in enough scouts mudding. Yes, it is. With my dad, actually. Damn, that's a dirty fucking truck. 
Yeah, and well, it's he, mud. Well, it, it, it's it's mud. a logger's truck. It's mud. Knee. It's also my backyard. Hey, me. Hey. Yeah. You see an odd sight. Less odd than the Zayden deciding to become a sand shark. Less strange than the boy trying to set up a picnic. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Ow. Um, how, how strange are we talking here? You see a man dressed like he is supposed to be walking through a desert. Walking past you. Well, I mean, he's dressed for the part. You can't hear him. That's fine. You didn't sense him at all, and you've got present sensing. Not sorry. Right. No, that's not my. That's not. You're, that's a different subtype. My bad. That's a different <laughs> something. Eh. Yeah. You're. Hey. Oh, no, see you. I don't know how I've been able to do that. I apologize. That was my fault. I'm looking at the wrong one. Me. Yes. He also smells like brandy. <laughs> it's Viserys! But he okay. also makes no footprints in the sand. I drink way too much to be actually potentially worried by that sentence. Okay, and anything else? You, you see him walk through the boy. It's probably the heat. <laughs> that jockey won't got to him. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why I'm angry at you. Was angry at and you. I did is say him, water he under is the bridge. coming a him from your monastery. There are no humanoids at your monastery. There is only turtles. Mm -hmm. Well, again, it's probably the heat. And the chocolate milk. Probably not the chocolate milk. Probably the fact that I'm now sticky and uncomfortable. I can't believe I'm actually living up to my character's current feelings. I just straight up can't get comfortable in my seat right now, no matter what I do. He turns and looks at you, and you've never seen this man in your life. Okay, I've never seen his face before, or can I see his face? You can see his face. It is bright red with a John devilish Smith looking Knight. devilish looking beard that is dark brown. He reminds you of the teachings of what a jinn would look like. G I N G uh G J I N N a jinn. Yeah, a gin. Ah, nice. The alcohol. But, you know that all of the gins in the world smell like spices and not alcohol. And he has a funny looking tail. <laughs> Motherfucker got trapped in a bourbon bottle instead of an oil lamp. Okay, I have no idea what any of that means, actually. Jins are basically genies. No, that. I already sense a back and forth, so I'll just pretend like I know for right now. I have no idea ultimately, though. He walk. He kind of runs up to you and grabs you by both, uh, by both <laughs> arms, into a bear hug. Finally! I'm just gonna look wide-eyed. I hate this desert so much. There's so many people doing weird things to me. I don't even know you. Can I, like, push myself away? Yes. You also instantly, as you push yourself away, you feel instantly clean. No sweat. I don't like this XML, no. can I? 
Well, he is a Deus, so. Is that his name? Uh, you know what, I'm... You I, haven't I asked. Is. You haven't asked his name. No, I because I don't know him. As far as I was concerned, up until about just now when he physically touched me, he looked like an apparition. Ah, oh, finally, someone that can actually, you know, think with a head on their shoulders. Bless this group. I'm... Uh, why Why do things follow that group? I don't even... I, I haven't even known them for more than 20 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes well, mostly I'm following them for shits and giggles. He kind of rocks back onto his heels. And then rocks back onto the balls of his feet. Well... Well, this is an interesting place. Haven't been here in a while. Kind of turns around. Why is he digging in the dirt? And there he goes. What the fuck? I hit it! I am supremely confused and lost. Lost? Yes. Confused. Even more so. I can't give Both. you my name, but I can give you something to ease the pain of all this. Gestures to Zayden's whole area. Oh, 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 oh sure. I, I, I'm... He hands kind of you just... a jug of brandy. Okay. I'm really confused. Like, in and out of character, I have no idea what's going on. That's the whole point of this. You're supposed to ask... No, 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 like, like this isn't even like a, I can ask a question. Like, like just... that I There's so much to ask that there's not one particular thing I want to ask. It's, it's an overloading of just what the fuck. How about you ask who it, who he is? He just said he couldn't tell me anything. He, you, you did say that. I, I give him that. So how can I ask him? You can ask. Why is my dad calling me? That is a question. Hold on. Hey. Oh. I am upstairs, so I'm not entirely sure if he's answering his phone. He might be asleep. Um, I can go down. I can look for him, but I am in the middle of something, so I'll have to pause it. Yeah. Just give, just give me a second. I'll yell it down. We've got another hour. Okay, dokie. Holy shit, we do have an hour and hour. All right. Talk to you later. We do this from noon to three thirty. Well, uh, it's two EST, for me. so, so it, it's an an hour and a half. I guess I'll go and talk and take a break to go ask my brother or something. Mm. Alrighty, I'm gonna head to the bathroom. Mm. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, question, me. What is your background? Oh, this is where it comes in. I am an athlete. Neat. Neat. It does come into play. I use all yeah. Asta. Asta. Oh, well, now it's going to come into play for this, but. Uh, uh, sure. This year's Power Tour starts in Atlanta. Cool. And I will be in Atlanta. Nice. I, I'm not. Mi last year sucked. I'm not missing this year. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be going through Power Tour on in, in Atlanta. I, it's well, not Atlanta, Hampton, Georgia, but you know, it's it's right there. It's okay. There's there's an uh, there's an Atlanta in Florida, so I, I was really thrown for a loop when I was starting to drive uh, up to go see Ty. Mm -hmm. because I was like, oh, you know, we'll, we'll, when we get to Atlanta, that's how I know we're close. So I drive about hour of driving. 
I would say like two hours, two and a half hours. And it's just like, you know, Atlanta, one, or it's like three miles. And I'm like, huh? We're already there? Yeah, he ended up going to Atlanta, Florida. Whoops. Oh, yeah, no, it was just like right there. No, no, no. I, I checked on the map while I was driving. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm I I have never drove out of I know I I that's a lie I have drove out of state I've drove on a on a two lane road in Tennessee that's as far out of state I've drove and I'm gonna be driving through through uh, Tennessee Georgia North Carolina South Carolina and then do, yeah do yourself a favor first time doing that kind of stuff take someone with you. Well, I'm gonna dad. My dad's gonna be driving his truck. I'm gonna be behind him. Okay. For well, the whole that's, way. that's important. Just to take yeah. somebody with you, just because like my parents wouldn't let me go on my own. They were just like, and well, they were just mom's... like, first time you do a big trip, especially something like that. Yeah. Take someone with. Well, my mom's still worried, but I'm gonna try and see if I can't get one of my buddies because he likes cars. It's mining robot. I'm gonna see if he can go with. Oh, you're gonna see if my... yeah, mining should be able to. Yeah. Or yeah. Well, like like you know. Yeah. Would be so power trip. tour will be cool. I hope. I hope uh hope I learned my, my, lands I learned first my limit of driving Lord. my my limit of driving is five hours straight. Yeah. And then I need to stop and stretch. You need to well, do see, stretching every two hours. Alright, so fun fact. Um when we left Gulf Shores, Alabama, me and my sister and her boyfriend, my well, the whole family went down there, but we left early because wait, wait, wait. I we drove back. I got in the back seat of my we they we drove my trailblazer. I did not get out of the car one time on the, uh, hold on. How long is the drive back from Gulf Shores? I think it's eight hours. Let's see. Mm. Gulf Shores. My Gulf my Shores. legs got shaky after about five hours. Also, we're, uh, Kai, we're just going to spell for time while Slush gets back. Okay. Eight hour, all right. It's a nine hour, it's a nine hour drive from here to Gulf Shores. I never got out of the car yeah. at all. No, never it's used bad. the bathroom. I did nothing. Bad. And, no. And I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. The second I got out of the car when I got home, I literally fell on my knees because my legs couldn't hold my body. Yeah, up. yeah. That's exactly why I said like five hours was like my upper limit where I went. Okay, I need to take a break. Guys, well, I've got every I have, two hours you're supposed to get out, use the bathroom, stretch. I know. Well, I see, know. I mean, every two hours I'd probably have to get gas. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, that's that's, that's usually. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. But um. We're gonna be running CBs and well, not me. I, me I, and my dad. I went, up from, dad keep in I went up from Central Florida up to the end of Georgia, all on one tank. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna Yikes. look right now and see how far my town is from Atlanta. No, we, we actually did pretty good. We were not even uh, at a quarter empty. That's impressive. Um, all right, so Atlanta is five hours. It's um, it's it, it was because the, the car I took was a hybrid. So while we were driving, it was, you know, the solar panels on top were recharging the battery. All right, so Atlanta Motor Speedway is five and a half hours from town, actually. Oh, so yeah, no, no uh, actually, kind of like, I have no clue what to do with this guy. Like, he just, uh, like, literally just appeared out of nowhere, assumed it was a, an apparition or a, a thing of heat stroke, you know, sign that I'm hallucinating. Then he, because he leaves no footprints, so clearly doesn't touch the ground or doesn't it isn't real because he would leave footprints that's that's thing number one thing number two he finally touches me says oh my gosh it's great to see somebody okay uh, there's a lot of other people you could go to you picked me you got the teenager but i guess gonna... for legal reasons you probably shouldn't <laughs> yeah it's you got me. trench boy you go to him I'm, I'm sure he would just shrug it off, but he'd still take the hug. I, I'm just confused in multiple situ in multiple places, and I have way too many questions where I just don't know which is the right one to ask. I'm because back. Welcome back. I'm, welcome back. I'm sure there's like, oh, I'm only going to be able to ask so many questions, and even if I'm able to ask them all, I Frankly, I'm just going to get lost in it all if I have to ask all the questions. You can ask all the questions. No, I know. I. Yeah. Well, okay. look at it like this. What questions do you want to ask first? 
if I'm gonna draft the Lincoln, I have to get a lot of work done to it, especially right. fixing the cruise control. Uh, your before last week didn't have cruise control. One one thing back, to we're back to section. Oh, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Is there like one thing I can? Is there like one thing that I want to ask more than anything else? Because they're all just equally fucking applicable. What the fuck is a good question to start? I think I did, and then you said I can't answer. No, you said who the fuck, not what. Oh, you. You have to play it straight, and sometimes I have to. I can't play it straight. I am the DM. I apologize. I cannot exactly play it straight. I want to. I can't. I understand. I, I think that's just the other thing is I feel like his existence is a little too convenient right now because he just cleaned me up for nothing. Not exactly nothing, but we'll get there. Regardless, I, it's still kind of weird that he did it. And that he was just here to do it. Ask him questions. Uh, I just, I really don't I just very sadly, there's just I, I, like I could say what the fuck, who the fuck, how the fuck, why the fuck. He will answer them. I unfortunately am giving picks an aneurysm. Yeah. Sorry. Just... I stepped in something. God fucking damn it. Uh, cat shit is what I'm thinking he stepped in. I no. stepped on a fucking noodle. Where oh. did that come from? The fuck? I. Where, when's the last time you ate noodles? Anger. Hey. Fucking despair. He will look at you very so quizzically. Oh, Wait a second. Uh, he'll get up close to you, knee, uh, knee, and go. What? Who the fuck are you? What? You're not the normal the exact... monk. Oh, that's what you did. You smelled the. I'm sorry. I am really broken by this man. Like, mentally, I have no fucking clue what to do. I think all the questions have just compounded into just a brain aneurysm. What? Alright. Uh... Since you said who the fuck, we will answer what the fuck. I, d I don't um, you know what sure sure I asked that in character I'm not even sure anymore. I should apologize he kind of like bows slightly I thought you were Viserys what Viserys is normally my drinking buddy and I thought he was around here because I smelled alcohol I apologize I should not be going around just randomly hugging people. Why is my phone buzzing? Be gone, thought. <laughs> don't worry, I, I threw it onto carpet, so it's good. I don't even know anymore, man. I apologize. My name is Nicodemus. I thought you were Maceras because we always have that bit that we do. It is sort of a greeting. Okay. Um, I wandered into here and I am severely lost. You're not the only one. Uh, I'm going to try up that ladder. You can have my map. Here. He 
Well, it's a rope, is it not? Where? He points to a rope that is dangling on the side of a cliff. Your friends actually use that Are rope. We... I'm sorry. Johnson mm. and Akuma use that rope to get up the rope. It's a cliff. By a cliff? Yeah. There is a cliff that dead ends into, uh, that has a sheer drop into a desert. That then ends uh, about a hundred, like a hundred meters into I, I, a beach that goes into the ocean. I thought I was in the desert already. You are I in thought, the desert. Are you guys... You're in the desert part. Okay. You're not on the cliff face. You're in the desert part. Okay. Zayden, I'm gonna need, I'm going to need a con save from you. The fuck you mean? You're disturbing desert soil. It might be sand, but there is crap inside of it that you haven't come into contact with. This is actually a real problem that existed within Africa. That people would get infections from the uh, stuff inside of sand. Well, the my con is motherfucking uh, uh the saves up plus seven unnatural 20 almost <laughs> that, that's a 19 yes you do pass you start to get itchy but then you just kind of go eh, no and continue on no 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 itch, no itch. only fortify is that what the imperial fist does all day Yes. Okay. Uh, knee in return of this horrible faux pas that Nicodemus has d done to you, you get a section of the true map and a bottle of, of brandy. He, uh, Nicodemus apologizes profusely and uh, you see him walk away him still not doing uh, still not actually making any sort of footprints in the sand but that's because then you see it he's actually using his tail to read uh, disturb the soil as quick as he is stepping yeah but I feel like I would have at least seen like the start of a footprint or something before at least uh, now that i'm closer i guess okay and he travels up the rope and disappears into the past the cliff face that you can't see you've gotten one part of the true map. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll go add that down. I don't know how long it would take for this. Okay. What, what part of the map did I get? You got the mm -hmm. northeast corner. It actually how uh, all that you see on it is a item that uh, an item, an island that is noted as floating in the air with a large circle that has been sh kind of shaded. And why don't you draw it yourself? It's already been drawn. Oh. That has been slightly shaded around it. Like it is a ball in the air. You have actually I'm heard of this here. place through the monastic teachings of your monastery. Uh, it is a forbidden zone for no one to journey to. But it is very useful for, uh, since it is a static area in the sky, for people to use it as a reference point. 
What the? If I see my nephew burst through my door, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> laugh with you. Anyway. So we'll go back to Akuma and Johnson. I'll ask no. about it later. Yes. Come on, Johnson. Aye. All right. In front of you stands the pri uh, annoyed face of Prime Knight. Hello, well, Prime Knight. Face. How are you Andy today? Clark. Long time no see. Prime Knight, yeah. you see a familiar face. Well, mm -hmm. I say familiar. The form is familiar, but the color is different. It is like a... A midnight blue pop out from right. behind Johnson. Tasty man! No. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, you, you missed a cut a few things, uh, like him exploding. Oh, yeah! His name is Prime Knight. I keep forgetting that's his actual name. Oh, I really wish I would have seen that. It was really sad, and you about saw me lose my freaking marbles. Sorry about that. It's perfectly fine. I didn't know that White Phosphorus did that. Wait, White Fo What the fuck happened? It oh, wait, the report, right. Oh. We blew up a lot, remember? <laughs> we blew up a few people. I used you White Phosphorus to cause a methane explosion. We blew up something. A purple you worm. You became, it is rather um, much one. smarter than I remember you. I ate a lot of books. He either ate them or read them. You you suck up knowledge in the most literal sense of the word. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what my mom told me. Wait, who's your mom? I don't know. She doesn't have a name, but she likes to pop up in mirrors. What? Excuse huh? me. Oh, yeah! First Turns to Johnson. I have a mom now! Wait. Oh, wait. Huh? Huh? I got... He kind of does... What did you have a mother? Kind of does, like, the jester's privilege, like, the... Sticks his tongue out, put both of his hands on his head. I thought... Just, what? The lady in the mirror? Yeah. Uh, I apologize. A lot has happened while I was kind of dead. No, I thought Celestia would be your mama. Well, she kind of is. You said a lady in the mirror. Yeah, she also lets me do this. She kind of points in a certain direction and a beam of, like, purple light just arcs through and kind of breaks a mirror. Oh my oh. fucking god, fuck? he has the freezer death beam. Oh my oh. god. Oh, Whoops, holy sorry. Man. Still learning. Freezer she death called me something like a warlock. That's weird. You're a war Oh, what? Yeah. I'm, I can't I be think more I proud know of you. I who your mother is. I think I met her. Don't you mean Trump? I, I'm proud of her. I'm proud of him. I mean... It's not Strongheim. Strongheim's on your back. I was like he's turning my head to him. You can't see it because I'm not in VR. I'm sorry. <laughs> Strongheim is like, yeah, no, she's not us. I would know of her. She is not yeah. us. That is a goddess. I know oh. that, but we met her. I remember. Well, her. you met a version of her. Strongheim, like. Strahim goes, you met a version of her whenever she was weaker, and the fact that she is both a cler uh, she is a cleric god and a warlock patron should honestly worry you a lot. I mean, I met, I got pulled into a different dimension when we met. Oh her. yeah, that's her dimension. Forgot. Uh, Sorry. Well, I hope I don't have to fine. pay alimony. Ah, uh, you shouldn't really. Okay, good. Because I, mean, I don't have anything to pay. She just asked that I keep an eye on the wrong voice. 
Sorry, that's the wrong voice. I need water. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? About Johnson, you didn't run me. I thought we gave you lead. What is that? Says you've been doing. Honestly, well, that doesn't equate to cash. No, no, no. She, she, she said that I was kind of like her kid. But oh my gosh, her, I forgot how bad his voice is. That's the reason why I killed him off. I'm sorry, oh Dawson. I'm it sorry. Is you can I'm quite sorry. change his voice if it suits you better. I don't care. You're changing him a bit. Jesus. I mean, he's literally been reborn. He doesn't have to have the exact same scrilly, frilly Justin Roiland voice. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Human. All right. <laughs> Nah, she said that it wasn't really an issue about alimony. She said that I was like her kid, but not actually her kid, so it's fine. Ah! Uh, mm. Oh, she said that she might just, like, you know, talk through me because I have a mirror shard somewhere. Uh, hold on. He kind of, like, reaches into himself and pulls out a large, what looks to be... A wand made of mirrors, like a disco ball, but as a wand. Yeah, okay. she gave me this. That's basically what they used um, for Star Wars before they yeah, um, used yes. the computers for the, <laughs> the same with the light shots on it. Yeah, <laughs> he just kind of schlorps it back into himself. Yeah, she also called me something different than the normal slime or an Uzian. I can't remember what it's called. She'll probably tell me later, like, oh, you idiot. But anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a lot of new information that I don't know what to do with. I completely forgotten. I apologize. It is okay. I am no, of the I'm... dumb. You are not of the dumb. You are you're just you're just you're just me. <laughs> she called me a dumbass. Well, that was rude of her. Not you. But it's but... true. Well, I mean, you're you're, you're, you're 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 just you're just me born over, honestly. He kind of like stands proud. Yeah, I'm like you, mm. like my dad. My dad. My dad. My dad. Yes, he is. <laughs> so, where's the German fella? Uh, down in the down in the the crypt. Ah, gotcha. He's in the Wait, big what? litter pit. Yeah, pretty much. Litter pit. It's full of sand. Don't cats go shit in sand? Boy's got a point. He does have a point. That reminds me. I really hope the princess is not over doing it with the void. I don't know. Well, we should probably get going back into the, 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 the crypt. Crypt. Um... Yeah, maybe get, get your, your fella. Sand. No, don't eat sand! I eat the sand! No, he eats the sand. You'll poop out glass! Will I actually poop? No. It would ju you, would just, you would just turn yellow for a minute. Ew. I eat a little sand then. Yeah. Gotta anyway, gotta Uncle Akuma! Forward. What? Right as I call him, he went mute. Fuck. Oh, on, boss. Well, I'm gonna. I don't know what your guys' deal is, but I'm going to find that German fella and tell him to go back to camp. I don't know. He's pretty well insane now. You may have to just drag him. But, like said, anyway, I'm pretty sure he's not insane. Misa just... goes and kicks open the door. Come on. Oh. Uncle Akuma's back. back. Hello. I was supposed to tell you something. What was it? You see him, like, scratching his head. Like, he removes his head and scratches it in both hands. What? Oh. Oh, man. Goofball. What was it? Oh, right! I remember! Why did I forget? Your daughter's in good hands. The person that I'm under, the mirror goddess, 
uh, told me to tell you that uh, she's personally overseeing uh, Ashley's case. Whatever that means. So I don't know what like that means. Gay. I guess. Yes. What about Ashley? Oh, thank you for telling me, Mista. I just give him a big hug. It kind of swore. He kind of goes... Has... Mista uh, puts his head over so that uh, Prime Knight can see it. Oh, ah! Uh, well, see, Ashley is no longer on this plane, and the goddess that I'm under, uh, she she said that I can uh, tell uh, uh, Akuma about uh, Ashley's case being overseen by the goddess of magic, uh, knowledge, uh, death, Rebirth. She has a lot of titles. Seems like she's a jack of all trades. Well, she's been kind of busy reforming herself. And, mm. well, through the help of one of her more unexperienced knights, they were a and a, a cleric of some sort, they were able to actually, like, uh, uh, actually put her back together again. Is she Humpty Dumpty? Like, kinda. Uh, when the sun god fell, she kind of broke apart, literally. Mm. But now she's back together. Oh, good. Uh, oh, wait. that one night, however, is kind of trying to hit on her. And so she took me as her son, and I'm basically her shield, so I might disappear from time to... And he just kind of... You see him disappear and reappear. Okay. Time. Well, that was something. Good lord, boy. Just as like long that. as you don't disappear when you're needed. I'll try my best to. Well, I'll try my oh, best good. not to. Words. Humans are weird and so are their words. Tell me about it. I'm one of them. <laughs> I know. I'm not even one of them. Common is weird. Literature is fun. Unless I never thought I would hear you say those words. Fucking... Shakespeare doesn't taste good. Too many, too many iambic pentameters and not enough prose. Oh my god, I'm so fucking bored. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> what? Boy. No, I literally have to dip. I'm way too bored. This is not okay for me. Dude, oh my god. You can have Prime Knight go on ahead and talk to the dwarves. No, no, it's fine. I oh my god, I can't do D D right now. Oh What fuck. happened? Dude, I just I know, it's just like a it switch just turned on like nope, can't do it. I I, apo I apologize. Well, okay. it, it's fine. About the session, it's just I can't even explain it. I'm sorry. Your brain does bad. brain things. My <laughs> Uh, perhaps you're <laughs> mentally, uh, perhaps you're mentally drained. You know, I'm going on the other, uh, on the other Discord in the meantime. I'm just, I need to do something else. Oh my god, I'm yeah. sorry. You're great take, fine. Yeah, uh, take care and take a rest. You're fine. What it's, the hell? It's probably because he doesn't have VR, so he can't just mess around. Oh, what happened to his VR? Uh, he was so angry he didn't want to set it up. Um. What? Okay, that that whatever. Yeah, this session's more of a role play session, and it's this is all to set up the next area. So, unfortunately, there's not a lot for people to do. I like these sessions. Hmm. A day we're not a day, a day we're not dying is a good day. Well, <laughs> yeah, the role play and world building sessions are my favorite. Thank exactly. You. Thank you guys. Because we're not getting, we're not getting slammed by some uber boss ready to rip <laughs> our guts out and turn out our teeth into do. trades. Yeah. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just, I don't mind if I mute myself from time to time, I'm just eating pizza. You're good. Um, anyway, so, Okuma Johnson, do you want to go back? And need, do you want to try to traverse the rope that is on the edge of the cliff? Oh, uh, we, we can go back. 
Sure, I'll go climb the rope. All right. Johnson, well, I need to do anything luck. funny? I mean, if you want to try to roll me an acrobatics check, not an acrobatics for you, athletics check to lug yourself up the rope, go for it. Okay, so Akuma, Johnson, Mista, and P Pyron, uh, I guess you guys will walk back. Pics, it is hard. You a turtle. You are meant to go on a more horizontal approach to things. This is that I have a, I have a plus four, and I have proficiency. So that's an eight. What's I rolled your that proficiency? low. What's your proficiency? Four. So with the what's your strength? Four. So it's a plus four, plus four. Plus the four that you rolled. Plus four. Okay. Tortles are meant to go straight. You were supposed to go on a more horizontal path. It is quite difficult for you to haul yourself up vertically. Be it your tortle physiology or the gigantic shell that it, your spine is attached to. Mm -hmm. But you do mm. somehow make it up the rope. In front of you is a large stone altar with what looks to be the thickest eggshell known to man. And my headphones are screaming at me that I have no battery in them. I do not care. Um, and of a person's body that looks to be hollowed out about... Further, further into this weird room that you have found, is like a stone person, not an actual person. Yeah, it's a person suit. There's no organs or bones or muscles inside. Not okay. even a layer of fat. On the bottom part of it seems to be a bunch of bowing people that are dead. A whole heap of hoard of gold. And an I an an entire wall of thick ice that is open by a door in the center, which is also open. I mean, this explains. Should we... Why is there ice here? Do you wish to go forward? Is, is that the only thing forward? Is there not like a left or a right path to take? Uh, currently, it is only opening it into one room. Past the door, it, there might be a left or a right. You're not entirely sure. This is a complete new area to me. I know. So. Yeah, I'll go forward. All right. The floor kind of grips at your your feet. Because it's made of ice. It's impressive that you're not slipping and sliding. As you exit the door, you notice that there are two paths, but both paths lead on the left and the right. Both lead down to a frozen garden. In front of you is a large ice walkway. It leads, oh, it seems to bridge between this area and the area that is beyond that is the, uh, the buildings that encircle this courtyard. Everything seems to be made out of ice. You can hear a slight drip, but you cannot see what is melting currently. It's not melting fast, but it is melting. Or something is. I'm not entirely sure. The fuck was that? I think someone just slammed their Maybe. Um, Redescribe the important bits to All me. Right. So there is a bridge bridging this area, this walkway, that's bridging this area that looks to be, if you turned around and looked up, a very ornately 
carved ice sculpture of a castle. Though it seems to only host one large room. In front of you is the walkway. To either side are stairwells down to a large and intricately carved frozen courtyard. Everything seems to be carved out of ice and then either painted or dyed a certain color. The walkway seems to end into a, a set of buildings that are on the other side of the courtyard. You're not entirely sure what's over there, but that's what you can see. How is my body reacting to the sudden temperature shift of desert, dry, warm, to uh, cold and moist? It is not moist in here. It is quite dry. So the humidity is still the same. Just there just is a that. slight chill in the air. I said something is melting, but you don't know what. Well, well yeah, but, but wouldn't that imply... Not really. Really? Okay. Uh, I would have thought that, you know, frozen water would, when it started to melt, return to... I know you can jump straight to gas, but that still implies... It's not sublimating. Okay. Uh, whenever, whenever air gets so cold, it will actually squeeze out all the moisture to form all the ice it can before oh, really? it just stays at literally zero humidity. The humidity in here is similar to that of the desert. There's just no air that can hold water. Well, you have the hot that is instantly turning it into gas. You have the cold that's instantly turning it into ice. Okay. However, it is so dry that you can't really feel the cold. The only cold that you feel is currently on your hands and your feet. Okay. Hmm. I'll just head on down. All right, which one are you taking? The left or the right uh, to the courtyard? I'll go left. All right, so you go down and you enter the quote-unquote hedge maze. It's, it's ice that is ch trimmed into the uh, shape of hedges and dyed, but they're not actually hedges. Sorry, I had to put something over the stupid water bottle that I have because it keeps resonating. All right, so you enter the hedge maze. Yes. There, there is a path that leads forward and then to the left. Do you take it? Uh, I'll take the forward. All right, you forward into the next hedge. Um, the hedge in front of you, you turn and it is a three-way. You can either you can either go back up to the walkway or you can continue forward, left or right. There is no forward path. Uh I'll go right. Alright, you turn down that path and it seems to continue and turn left. Okay, go left. All right, you continue down the right path? Yes. All right, you continue down the right path and you see that the path turns left. You turn left and a little bit further, it dead ends. Hmm. Well, I'm going to turn around and 
go right this time? You went right the last time. So, well, the, okay, so yeah, I, I was I meant like from where I if I turn around and go back, I, you know, not not stand back oh, in the exact position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right okay, from where so I'm. So you go right from where you are, and you're back on that straight that was the three way leading to the entrance of the hedge maze. All right. Uh, can I go left, or is it just straight? It is just a straight. It seems further down that it turns right, but you can't really make that out. I have to go straight, so I'll just go straight. All right, you go straight until you end up in having to having to turn left. This one seems to be a winding road of lefts and rights. If you continue back this way, you will have to turn right. And then it's another left. After that, you can see like a diagonal, but you don't know what's further there. Okay. Do you take the winding path? Yes. Yes, I do. All right. It's a left. Sorry, it's a right and then a left, a right and then a left, a right and then a, th a T junction. This seems to be right around the area that that the if you were to draw a mental map, this would be running along parallel to where the the first dead end that you encountered comes in. And it's dead end over here? Not from what you can see. There okay. is a right, a left, and a front path. Left it is. Left it is, alright. It is a straight shot all the way down. Eh, to a dead end. I tried. I'll go back and I'll try the straight. All right, you try the straight. So you continue down uh, the straight path until you hit a, the only way you can go forward, a left. I'll go left. All right. You go left and there is another left that you need to take. I'll take it. All right. You continue straight on there, and then there is a. You come onto a junction that, if you were coming from one of the, it would be a three way. The way you're going, in front of you, and to your right. Let's go right. All right, you continue down that path, and you come upon a reptilian person. They look to be about five, six feet. They have a horrible sunken chest wound, and they are holding on to two dead cultists, well, two dead robed people. They seem to ha have haggard breathing, but they're just barely alive. Akuma just apparently fell out of his seat at that news. Okay, no, I'm yeah. still in my seat. <laughs> you can actually hear them struggling for breath. All right. Do I do I know them? You do not. This is a species you've never seen. Sure, you have seen blue dragonborn as they are normal in your area, and you've seen silver dragonborn 
but this doesn't look like either one of them. It looks like a kind of albino question mark version of them. So you're not entirely sure what they are. But you know it is a dragonborn of some sort, at least. Okay. Uh... Well, I don't really have anything to help them. They are able to wheeze out. Do you wish to get closer? Can I... I really don't know what to do right now. I just... Yeah, sure. Let me go closer. All right. As you get closer, you can see what is causing the sunken chest wounds. Two spears have been jabbed into the sides of this dragonborn. As he was, unfortunately, the subject of a death... Kind of a death combat. Combat to the death, except he didn't die right away, so... He's kind of suffering. Who sedative called me? I do not care. Apparently it's War Avatar Community Day. It is a Saturday. Yeah. He's, <coughs> he sits slumped. Unable to really breathe because the amount of air that has already seeped into his chest cavity seems to be hindering him. Here, there, please kill me in this suffering, please. He is able to squeak out. Uh. So what about the other two <laughs> cultist members? They're dead. They're just dead. As you get, uh, as you have gotten closer, you are actually able to see that. Both of their heads had been smashed together, and they died from blunt force trauma. Yikes. He was able to kill them, but unfortunately, he, he got the bad end of the stick because he didn't instantly die. Well, yeah, he got the pointy sticks in his yeah. chest. Exactly. Can't, can't people just help you? You don't have to die. If you're able to help, that'd be great. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time left. I can't breathe that well. As he tries to suck air in, you can actually hear an audible whistle. Lord. And I don't want this. There is one thing you can do. You can give him a give him a drink before he passes. <sighs> I'll give him the brandy. I should go over there and give him a la his last sip of brandy. He smiles. Thank you. And closes his eyes. The spear is falling out. And with one big breath of air, 
His eyes shoot open. <gasps> he sits up. What did you give me? It burns! I just figured your last moments should be... I figured relaxing, just... just brandy. Oh, uh, it's know. so sweet and... wait. Brandy sweet, uh, like actually... He checks his sides. The spears have fallen out. How... who are you? How, how did you do that? Uh, I'm just gonna walk away. I don't want to deal with this. Thank you, kind sir. I'm going You're to rest not even for gonna... a bit. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, wait. He tosses you something. Uh, okay. It is a coin you have never seen before. At least allow me to pay you back, my say. Quite literally, I don't have anything else on me. I, I look at the coin. You don't have to pay me for anything. I didn't know I was going to be doing anything here. Oh. You can take it back, actually. I really don't want it. Ah, oh, fine. He takes it back. I'm just really lost and confused right now. Where are you oh, trying to go? On. Shrug my shoulders. I really have no idea. Mm. I'm just walking around right now. I should probably head back to where I was. This is dumb to come out here. Ah, well, good luck. Right. Well, th thank you. He nods, falling back, now asleep, exhausted from the ex from fighting off the effects of death. Okay, I'll just uh, try to remember my way back. Do you remember your way back? No, not at all, so I'm just going to keep guessing. Okay, so you turn around and there is a T-junction. There is a left and there is a right. I'll go left. Alright, you go left and there is a straight shot to a, a four-way. You are coming up, there is a path in front of you. A path to your left and your right. I'll go left. All right. So my you dad left. On the track. Left leads you to a path you haven't seen before. The path, the hedges here are a little bit more green. And you come up upon another T junction. You have a right and a left. Which way do you take? My dad is just giving his truck all sorts of hell, and I can hear it from my grandpa. I'm down at my grandpa's house. Good lord. Tell your dad to calm down with his truck. I just hear the limiter. That's all I hear. <laughs> so, do you go back the way you came, or do you go left or right? I think I've been here before. Uh, I'll go back the way I came. All right, you're back at that four-way junction. The path that you just came, uh, that you've come from, was the left one. This junction looks familiar. Okay. Yeah, left, <coughs> forward, or right? 
Let's go forward. Or it leads you down a long straight path and didn't. Okay. Um, I'll turn around. Turn around. And head back. There is one place that you have not gone within this four-way. And that is now on your right. I'll go right. Alright, right leads you down a winding path until you get to the end of a straight. This looks familiar to you. There is a straight and then there is a path to in front of you and a path to your right. Apparently someone's trying to play music and tune up a cello near but nearby. What do you do? Uh, uh, I'll go straight. You go straight. All right. You take the straight all the way until you have to take a left. I'll go left. You go left and just a little bit further, it dead ends. Okay, I'll turn around. You turn around and go back to that junction. Sorry that this is boring. You're fine. I'm making a map in my head. I know that I think I missed a section, but who cares? You're fine. It honestly can go any way at this point. Do you want to take a left? Yeah. You take a left and you come up to a come up to another junction, but this one leads directly to a set of stairs. Congratulations, you're back at the start. Oh. Okay. I don't remember there being stairs. You had to take stairs down. Um, I thought I took the bridge. Game ends in like ten minutes, right? Yes. Uh do you mind if I head out early? Go for it. You said you I'm took so the sorry. stairs down to the courtyard where there was a hedge base on the left. I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. Alright, see you, Johnson. Goodbye. See ya. See y'all. Yeah, and, then, oh. and then there were two. Or four. Yep. Kuma, you are coming back over the bridge and you see your turtle fellow. Oh, hello, knee. <clears throat> uh, sorry, did I interrupt? You're, you're good. Oh, hello, knee. Fancy seeing you here. Knee, you notice that Akuma is on the bridge overlooking the courtyard. Behind him is a very quizzical fellow, as he is made entirely of metal, and fire apparently. There goes Kyle. This is one of my oldest allies, Prime Knight. Say hello, Prime Knight. Hello! I guess we can end session here, so you guys can meet back up. Mm. Well, you see me turns up. Oh, yeah. Isn't he going to ask why we're back? I don't know. Why you're back? I didn't. I mean, within reason, I didn't know why you guys left to begin with. Well, we were going to go back, back for supplies, but turns out, according to my father, we need to be here. Okay, back into the desert we go. Yes, back into the archipelago of monster. I think that's what he called it. Nee, you actually know that name. That's kind of a common name that is uh, associated with the area that where your monastery is located. It is a group of a uh, group of very perilous isles that not a lot of people travel, which is very nice if you want like a very calm 
area, but uh, only if you're okay with monsters trying to rock up on your doorstep. Mm. And that's the reason why you guys actually uh, deal with booze and alcohol and brewing, because you found out that it's pretty easy just to tell the alcohol, uh, the monsters to to fuck off if you uh, give them brandy or alcohol or beer. At least I think yours is actually a lager uh, or a rum. I can't remember. Uh, if you give them alcohol, they kind of just disappear until they, they want more. And then they come back and you give them more and then they leave you alone. Giving you ample protection. And, I mean, it's not like they are pirates or anything. Unless totally they're crazy. Not. Totally not. Hmm. Don't worry, just follow us. Yes, and we'll oh and you and we'll be back in the desert in no time. Shouldn't be that hard to find the, the rope that's just sitting there. Yes. In fact it's really not. You guys are able to walk through the uh throw the treasure room into the back half through where the barrier should be out of the cave and bada bing bada boom there's the rope down the cliff I wonder how Zayden's doing with that trench of his he looked like he had it under control I, st I stopped worrying a while ago did you see anything interesting while we were away? Interesting? I don't think so. Confusing? Very much. Well, confusing could be a synonym for interesting to some people. Mainly the illiterate, but, but hey, the confusing is interesting as well. I'm just a lot of stuff happened and I I'm very confused by it well when you've been adventuring as long as us you get used to you get used to seeing weird shit maybe alright we should get going then I have Shouldn't keep you guys, or shouldn't keep them waiting. So you guys go down the rope. That's right. All <clears throat> right. I won't ask for acrobatics or athleticism because you're just going down. And you guys are back in the desert section. Got a hundred meters to get to the beach. But huh. it looks like Zayden's created a nice trench area, and the boy has created a picnic. Ooh. And that's where we're in today's session. Sorry that this took a little bit more time to do. Nah, it's okay. I, I, I wanted... I didn't know why you guys went back and why certain people wanted to go back. So I was trying my best to like do stuff and also keep with the pace. I, I apologize. This was a really a good session. No, nah, it's okay. We learned some important stuff. I, I think it was okay. The session. I just, yeah, I thought we were supposed to be going forward, so I was very confused, and that's why I stuck around where I was. I, I thought we were going to go forward very quickly. That's what I thought was going to happen. I mean, like, I, I remember saying we should go back. I also didn't know that the thing w was down a one, you know, 100 meter drop. The sheer cliff. Uh, you mean the cliff? It is a 50 foot drop. 
yeah, still, I, I the my my point is just I I didn't I, I probably wasn't paying attention because I was just waiting for my part. That's fine. Uh, but just I didn't know that you guys went down such a large thing. So I proposed the idea of going back to go get the part. Hmm. Well, eh, it's. Well, <clears throat> Oh, no. Eh, eh, should happen. But don't all worry, right. we'll save. But we'll save all the interesting stuff for next episode. Yep. Right, Kai. From now, when you guys uh, have a little wee bit of combat, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if we'll get there. But yeah. On the track. I. On the to the track of the one hector uh, hecta meter. Hecameter? He he Hecta? It's Hecta. Desi Kilo. Yeah, it's a Hecameter. It's a Hecameter. It's a heck of a meter. Anyway. <laughs> but it's... Anyway. Hmm. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye! See ya.